Welcome to this video. I think in the last video we covered canards, uh, but you can see in this image we have some nice intakes and uh, on our body, especially if we go to the front view, matches up nicely, but I hide my sketch and there's no engine intakes whatsoever. Why don't we handle that? Uh, so, activating my front sketch again. I'll change my appearance of my plane again to glass and that way it'll be transparent and I can see the sketch behind the body and there I've got a nice little line as to where my intake is so I'll highlight my front plane reference geometry plane I think 10.475 but in the opposite direction is a really nice fit as to where that intake is I'm going to create a sketch and uh, you can reference the picture but the picture is a little bit hard to see uh, so I'm going to go to my front plane or my front view rather double click on the sketch picture and make that so like 0.5 for transparency and it becomes a little bit more bold uh, but again the picture is a little bit hard to see so we'll go with uh, Our appearance. We're going to remove our current appearances, and now the engine intake becomes a little bit more apparent uh, from what we've been doing. So, control one. The real refill has a gap between the engine intake and the body, and we can replicate that. Uh, and I think the easiest way to do that is to go to our original boundary where we made the body. And that's the sketch uh, where we're going to be sketching similarly close to uh, where intake is at. So I'm going to show that on my machine. It's sketch number six. And actually, before I create anything, I'll just select this line. And we're going to, on the sketch menu, well, first, I guess we have to create a sketch on the plane that we've created. So sketch. Highlight this line and offset. I'm going to go right one, two, five for offset an eighth of an inch. And now I can simply trim the parts of the sketch that I don't need. I'm only interested in that little line there. From here, I'm going to trace out where the rest of my engine intake would be. Since that's fixed, I can very easily add a tangent relation and not worry about it. On this tangent handle, it would be most luxurious to add a vertical relation here. That's about where a tangent point would be-ish. I'm going to say vertical. And this will have to land uh, where it does. A lot of fixed relations, so the tangency on that doesn't get messed up. I'm a two-point spline here. I have to add a tangency uh, to both of these, and that looks like it ends up about perfect. So we've just finished up with that profile. We can rebuild out of that sketch. Um, I also want to reference uh, this mid-body sketch here, where engine intake will end up. We'll uh, highlight sketch seven and show that, and I can hide this sketch that I used as reference. Control 1 to get normal. I can choose these two elements of my sketch. I'm going to choose an offset. Again, well, I guess I have to create a sketch first. So hide my old sketch plane. It looks like plane number 2 is the one that we want to sketch on. All right, so we're going to sketch on plane number 2. And I can choose actually to offset. Well, yes, I need an active sketch. So I like these, offset. And I'm going to reverse the direction. And so I can uh, offset 0 0.05. Notice I have one element here and an element here. So if I choose 
two more elements we should be fine. Let's sketch in two elements. And make these, you know, I would do well. Choose a tangency here, tangency. Too much selected, so tangency, there we go, there. And we can make these tangent to each other. And we have a similar amount of elements. So I'm exit my sketch. And now I can choose I'll choose this uh, point here. I'll go features, boundary to here. And now let's choose to loft and loft uh, from here to there. Start and end constraints, we can make normal to profile, normal to profile, and we're lofting pretty smoothly. Uh, but this is going to loft in as a solid, and we can easily remedy that by uh, selecting our thin feature. I think 0.1 is going to be okay, but we're going to thin in the opposite direction, or 0.01 rather, and make that 0.05. There we go. And there you can see the gap that we have between the intake and the body, and that's just like on the real refill. And we're lofting normal to the profile, so I think that that's a, a pretty good win. I'm going to hide my front view for a second. And you can see uh, we have our wing <laughs> right there. Uh, and we can remedy that. I I think I'm going to get a few of these views out of my way so it won't impair me from selecting anything. I can also hide some of these sketches since I won't be needing them anymore. So this can be remedied by choosing surfaces and delete face. I also have Delete and Patch selected. And that wing is now gone. I can try it on this interface as well. But uh, we have a geometry condition blocking us, and that's fine. Um, so that is our intake. So that should be the uh, engine intake. All we have left is right plane, under features, we'll say mirror, we'll choose our thin loft, and there we've got the intakes for the engines. So, hope this video was helpful. If it was, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video, or maybe we'll do the, uh, the nozzles on the back, or something like that, maybe some of the cosmetics for the cockpit. Anyway, see you in the next video, and please subscribe.